Greyhound racing in New South Wales could soon be a thing of the past. An inquiry is being asked to consider whether the industry is compatible with animal welfare principles and whether it should be shut down altogether. The first public hearing has heard evidence of appalling animal abuse, including the slaughter of thousands of healthy young dogs that weren't fast enough to race. The warning viewers may find some images in this report disturbing. Sickening, barbaric and hideous. They're the words used to describe the inhumane practices in greyhound racing. The greyhound racing industry in New South Wales is in crisis because of its failure to adopt and maintain acceptable animal welfare standards. The inquiry was sparked by a Four Corners program that alleged live baiting of greyhounds using rabbits, possums or piglets was widespread and cruel. In his opening address, counsel assisting the commission, Stephen Rushton SC, alleged up to 90% of greyhound trainers use live baits. The small animals used were clearly terrified and they suffered prolonged trauma. But only since that program aired have New South Wales authorities begun investigating the mistreatment of the dogs themselves. In particular, the mass killing of greyhounds that are born each year but don't make the grade for racing. The inquiry has been told greyhound racing is reliant on overbreeding to be economically viable. Only 40% of dogs bred ever make it to the track and a tiny percentage are kept as pets, meaning up to 17,000 healthy young dogs are destroyed nationwide every year. The rate of track injury too is disturbing. About 600 greyhounds a month are injured in races around Australia, including with serious bone fractures. Mr Rushton said claims by those in the industry that they're committed to animal welfare is a complete myth. These figures, Commissioner, are a terrible indictment of this industry. The hearing was told that greyhound racing may be incompatible with animal welfare and if that's the case, Commissioner Michael McHugh should recommend the industry be shut down altogether. There is no way this industry can continue in New South Wales with the embedded culture of animal abuse. The hearings will continue all week. Anne Barker, ABC News, Sydney.